The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Friday, June 2, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link to our Patreon in the description and comment section below. Milwaukee Brewers vs Cincinnati Reds If the Milwaukee Brewers hope to maintain first place in the National League Central and battle for the NL pennant they must improve at the plate. Milwaukee is 26th in runs scored with 220 and in on-base percentage at .307, while dropping to 27th in both batting average at .230 and slugging percentage with .380. Rowdy Tellez is the leader in home runs for Milwaukee with 12, and Brian Anderson is the leader in RBI with 30. Milwaukee continues to play without Willie Adames, who in 51 games this season has 6 doubles, 9 home runs and 27 RBI. Milwaukee has hit 68 doubles, 3 triples and 65 home runs in 55 games. Cincinnati has lost 79 of the last 116 when playing against a team that has a winning record. The Reds struggle on the mound with a team ERA of 4.94, which is 26th, and opposing hitters are averaging .269 at the plate against Cincinnati pitching which is 28th. Cincinnati cannot make up for its poor pitching with production at the plate, as the Reds are only 21st in slugging percentage and tied for 13th in runs scored. Milwaukee's starting pitcher Corbin Burns looked like his old self last time out, allowing just four hits and one run in seven innings with eight strikeouts and three walks, but did not receive any run support losing 3-1 to San Francisco last Saturday. Nonetheless, Burns pitched much better than his previous two starts. In three starts this season, Cincinnati left-hander Brandon Williamson has been roughed up in two, allowing 10 hits and eight runs in 18 innings. Our team pick is Milwaukee Brewers. The Cincinnati Reds are third in the National League Central, but must improve on the mound if they hope to contend for a playoff spot. Cincinnati is 26th in Team ERA at 4.94 and 28th in each of the following. Whip, 1.46, Quality Starts, 11, and Batting Average Allowed, 0.269. Hunter Green is the leader in strikeouts for Cincinnati with 80, and Ian Gibbard is the leader in victories with 5. Brandon Williamson gets the nod on the mound Friday for Cincinnati, and this season the left-hander is 0-0 with an ERA of 5.02 and 12 strikeouts. Our total pick is over. Oakland Athletics vs Miami Marlins Oakland concluded its series vs Atlanta on Wednesday, picking up a series win. The A's lost their first nine series at home, one shy of the franchise record. Oakland scores 3.45 runs per game, 30th, and hits .219, 30th, with a .652 ops, 30th. It's hit 57 long balls, 21st, and stolen 54 bases, 3rd. The Athletics pitching staff sports a 6.63 ERA, 30th, and a 1.61 whip, 30th, with 11 quality starts. Interestingly, Oakland's run line record is surprisingly decent, 7-8 in interleague games, as well. Harris pitched much better in his second career outing, holding defending champion Houston to one hit in five innings of relief work. He should be able to handle a Marlins team limited to four hits and one run on Friday. With the momentum from its series win over the Braves, I am confident in my A's run line. Miami dropped the rubber match of its series with San Diego on Thursday, as the Padres broke out offensively. Will the Marlins have more success against the A's? Miami averages 3.68 runs, 28, and hits .257, 10th, with a .710 ops, 21st. The Marlins have launched 54 home run balls, 24th, and stolen 46 bases, 6th this season. The pitching staff has a 4.380 RA, 19th, and a 1.35 whip, 23rd, with 13 quality starts. Our total pick is over. St. Louis Cardinals vs Pittsburgh Pirates. Jack Flaherty will get the nod on Saturday. Flaherty rebounded from a subpar outing against the Dodgers by limiting the Guardians to just one run in seven innings last time out, resulting in another no decision in a clash the Cards won. The veteran right-hander has conceded three or fewer runs in four straight starts and is carrying a 4.81 ERA and a 1.53 whip to go with a 3-4 record in 58 innings pitched on the season. Flaherty squandered eight runs, seven earned, in 15 innings against Pittsburgh last season and has a 2.57 ERA and a 9-1 record in 84 career innings against the Pirates. The Cardinals are beginning a six-game road trek in this game. They enter this one rested after having a rare two consecutive off days. The squad has actually been better on the road this season where they are only three games below .500. The Cards won one of two home meetings against the Royals this week and are 5-5 in their last 10 games. Our team picks St. Louis Cardinals.
the Pirates will have Ronsi Contreras on the hill to begin the series. Contreras pitched out of the bullpen in his latest appearance and posted two shutout innings against the Mariners in a game the Pirates lost in extra innings. The young right-hander had a great April but struggled in May, where he recorded a 5.18 ERA and has accrued a 4.33 ERA. The Philadelphia Phillies vs. Washington Nationals. Zach Wheeler will take the mound on Friday evening. Wheeler continued his solid work by sailing through eight shutout innings against the rival Braves in his previous start and collected the win. The veteran yielded a 3.34 ERA last month and a 3.60 ERA and a 1.14 whip, accompanied by a 4-4 record in 65 innings of work on the season. Wheeler limited the Nationals to one run in two outings last season and has posted a 4.31 ERA and a 10-14 record in 28 career meetings. The Phillies are near the end of a daunting 10-game road trek. They won two of four against the Braves and were dealt a three-game sweep by the Mets this week as the inconsistent hitting continues. It's been a struggle getting to the .500 mark but remain within striking distance of the Braves and are four games back in the NL wildcard. The Phillies are in need of wins and this is an ideal pitching matchup. Phillies starter Zach Wheeler just posted a gem, recording eight shutout innings against the Braves last time out. He usually shuts down the Nationals and limited them to only one run in 12 innings last season. Wheeler is a righty and the Nationals only have a .683 ops against right-handed pitching this season. Furthermore, Nationals starter Josiah Gray has not been able to contain the Phillies' bats in his young career, squandering 15 runs in 25 innings, which equates to a poor 5.40 ERA. The Nationals' pitching continues to be exploited, surrendering 21 runs in their last three games, and I expect the Phillies' bats to break out. I like the run line considering six of the Nats' last eight losses have been by two or more runs. Our team pick is Philadelphia Phillies minus 1.5 runs. Gray will also have a good outing, and in his last four, he has not given up more than two runs. This will be a low-scoring affair, which is why the under is the pick. Take the under 8.5 runs. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Boston Red Sox. Tampa Bay dropped three of four before rallying to win the finale of a three-game set against the Cubs on the road Wednesday afternoon. The Rays entered Thursday with a 40-18 record and held a four-game lead over the Orioles for the top spot in the AL East. On Wednesday, Tampa Bay finished with only five hits with Brandon Lowe, his ninth, and Jose Siri, his tenth, each hitting two-run homers in the win. Zach Eflin didn't factor in the decision as he threw six innings, allowing three runs on four hits with one walk and five strikeouts. Colin Posh, 4-1, earned the win with a scoreless seventh inning, allowing one hit with no walks or strikeouts. Jalen Beeks got the final two outs, striking out one, to escape a bases loaded situation, to earn his first save. Boston is struggling right now, as seven losses in nine games entering Thursday would bear out, and their bullpen is going to be tested with Whitlock making just his second start since coming off the Illinois. Having to face a Tampa Bay team that has been good all season long is a tough task. Glasno looked strong in his season debut, fanning eight while not factoring in the decision, and he'll be an important cog in the Rays rotation as the season progresses. Tampa Bay, despite their struggles at the dish in the Windy City, has a prolific lineup that can dent the scoreboard and the green monster with relative will. We saw the Rays outscore Boston 26-12 in their four-game sweep at the Trop back in April. Look for more of the same as Tampa Bay takes the opener of this series. Our team pick is Tampa Bay Rays. Boston dropped their third straight game and have dropped seven of their last nine as their roller coaster season continues. The Red Sox entered Thursday 28-27 on the year and were in the basement of the AL East, 10.5 games behind the Rays for the top spot. On Wednesday night, Boston had 10 hits with Alex Verdugo and Masataka Yoshida, two runs, RBI, each recording a pair. Emmanuel Valdez, his fourth, and Yoshida, his seventh, homered in a losing effort for the Red Sox. James Paxton didn't factor in the decision as he threw five innings, allow James Paxton didn't factor in the decision as he threw five innings, allowing one run on four hits with one walk and eight strikeouts. Josh Winkowski, 2-1, took the loss in relief as he allowed three runs, none earned, on three hits with no walks and two strikeouts in 1.1 innings of relief. Our total pick is over on 9.5 runs.